Okay. All right, so if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free. Or comment. Okay, yeah. Oh, I had a question. Yeah, so when you filmed, did y'all play the music any time while filming to give motivation, or did the, did the music come after, you know, you said, hey, do your thing, or, you know? I don't know if I'm phrasing that right, but yeah, I, I know what you mean. Or did you use the music at all in the process to motivate their actions and to get the feeling and the rhythm and all that to their their I do. We did generally, like for example, for each scene, I would tell them what song it was, and they'd listen to it and they'd get motivation. But it was too hard in terms of recording it, like to, for example, have it playing and then recording their voices. Uh -huh. So a lot of that was done in post. So the intention for using each song for each scene was there, uh -huh. but not. <laughs> it wasn't recorded like live or anything. That would have been way too complicated for our setup. Because yeah, yeah. I, I noticed a lot of the actions, or when he got mad in the hotel room, you know, it yeah. just fit with, you know, whatever it was playing. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, when, um, nice when I wrote each scene, they, they were like set up that way, but then we recorded it, and then a lot of that happened in the editing room where it's like, okay, I'll home wait until this happens. And then, yeah, okay, that's yeah. awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Anyone else? The last scene, yes. uh, <laughs> uh, it was a little, a little bit confusing for me. Uh -huh. uh, he wanted to have a baby no matter what. They were separated, but at the same time, he called. He looks like he is the one who called the abortion of his own baby. Can you guys give some thought on that? Um, inside. Inside. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think, uh, I don't like to explain too much because I want, well, I mean, I want the audience to have some, like, you can make your own conclusions to, and, um, and um, but at the same time, I, I would say that a big theme for this film is control. So, for example, that might shed some light on, like, why is he behaving this way and that and saying this and then doing that and you know right. what's his where is he coming from so i wanted to look at control like it, this wasn't like a political film where it's like i'm trying to say should or shouldn't do this or this is okay or not right but if you saw their discussion earlier when they were just arguing about you know him feeling very left out and you know right. like that okay. anyone else it looked like he was trying to send a disturbing photos from all over the world and, yeah. you know, recent news and everything that got her concerned in her mind. Yeah, that was definitely one of the things, and because he uh, knows her so well, so he kind of knows, like, he knows what button to push. Exactly, like, what things would depress her and stuff. I'm sorry, did you finish your question? Or yeah, actually, yeah. Was okay. <laughs> there was a scene in the film, I think it was earlier in the film, when he was on the laptop and he was researching something, kind of like he was looking around in the library yeah. and kind of was like, you know, he's not supposed to be doing that. And then at the end, the picture repeated itself at the yeah. last scene. That was a disturbing scene. I think he was sitting yeah. there and starving. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so some of that, like, I think he was doing a whole. Was that spam? Up. Messages or something like was he yeah like so the, the 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 reason he's using the libraries is because he's trying to not um, be so conspicuous about like you know who's sending these things because she doesn't really know what's why she's getting these types of messages getting off her feed. yeah exactly and then so when it's repeated later it's kind of like in that scene where she's just like thinking about the world the way the world is uh -huh. and all of us oh yeah yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. When uh, she was on top of the bedroom and she was screaming, um, "Don't mention it again!" Or something. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What was it? Okay. Well, again, I don't want to be specific, but I'll just say uh, because it's it's psychological. So it's like everything. Like again, he knows her really well. Mm -hmm. So there's some things that have meaning to her or for for her that like the new guy doesn't really get. He's kind of like, what is she? Why is she upset? I don't even understand those things. So there, you can think of it as like a personal trigger. Like say for somebody else, it would make no sense. Like if they, like say you're afraid of something specific from your past or whatever. Um, but if someone else heard about it, they'd be like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> or what's the big deal? But for you, it has a very specific meaning. So it was like that. <laughs> like that pencil. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it yeah, could just be yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it could be <laughs> anything. So for us, for us, like any object could just be neutral until you associate it with something specific. Yeah. yeah. I just want to ask this. Um, that's my own perspective, right? Yeah. I, I thought women always want to be married to their best friend. And she realized she has been with that guy for so long, she knows that guy. He looks yeah. like he, he comes from a wealthy family and everything. And after having all of this, she she kind of back up and say, I want something different. Like, I think it was perfect. <laughs> like, it's, see, it comes to a point where we, like, we. Us as a man, we're confused. We don't know exactly what we mean. What? I think it's a, it's a pretty modest. That's what they yeah. describe. Yeah. I think you don't know what we want. It's a complex. 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 You don't know how to read our mind. I mean, I think it's a very modern film. So, like, the stuff that people think, you know, well, here's a guy, he has a good job, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. For some people, it's like, that's not enough. That's it's not very enough. specific. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, when they started talking about having a baby after yeah. they just got married, it's right. like, did you not know each yeah. other already? Yeah. Right. You've right. known each other since grade school. Yeah. So. Right. And that never came up in a conversation. It sort of did, but I think he was just much more pushy about it. I think you're right, yeah. He yeah. didn't give her time to, that. to get to that point where she was ready for that. Right. Yeah. That's definitely a good sign. Did you have a question? Uh, it kind of makes you think that marriage is a bad investment. He's not that angry. Well, I guess if you think of it that way, like, I invest all this time and effort into this person, and they can just, you know, at any time, just like leave me or, or you know, throw it all away, or even just, you know, be out of my, be out of my control. Or something. You just have to be ready, like in case people change. <laughs> and right. Uh, it just. You can't. You can't give a hundred percent of yourself anymore. Yeah, because that's... there's always a <laughs> small chance that they'll walk away. That's kind of sad. <laughs> but it's it's this reality. Yeah. So we just kind of be flexible and body. <laughs> oh, always, always. You never know. Like a chance. <laughs> we play a moment and say, oh, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right um, do you guys have anything you want to add? Do you have a question about the cinematography? You can oh, I was just first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you all you guys worked on another movie together? Not all of us, but okay. me and him have. Okay. There was a previous one. Um, it was a, a shorter film. Oh, okay. It was like a road trip. Um, anything for the actresses? <laughs> uh, it, was this your first film or you? Definitely. For me, yeah, my first time ever. Okay. <laughs> I've done a little commercial, but nothing. Yeah, it was my. Uh, and I was actually there. Yeah. I just arrived there and it was two hours. Uh, and two, one Sunday and I left. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, so like I was, was going to like, oh my God, how is that going to turn out? But you guys are great. You and the other cameraman. And you were awesome. Cool. And uh, yeah. the script was pretty. The whole idea of the whole movie was pretty good. I mean, really, you get to think something is reality, like yeah, 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 yeah. abortion and having our own rights as a woman, and mm -hmm. women wanted it. I think it was and with the classical yeah, music. A you mean did a fabulous uh, concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the way when you came in and you were just like you get around. Right <laughs> that was great. That's, that's, great. Great. that's yeah. difficult, you know. There's yeah, always yeah. natural trolling. I have one. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I was actually telling my son. I'm like, okay, I'm. A, I, that's easy for me. I can just look like my mother. <laughs> but yeah, it was. That's life. Who doesn't yeah. know something like that, right? right. That just right. Like, and you're going home, and I don't care what you have, and, and you nobody, you're nobody. And she, that's when she just attacked with her, talk her down, and yeah. then it was, she, you know, everybody was better than her. But yeah, it was. It's a really great time. I loved it. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. And uh, this was my second feature, so this was done back in 2015, right? Yeah, a long time. 2014. Uh, yeah. Wasn't 2017? My part wasn't. When we started, when we started, like the idea, raising, casting, oh, wow. um, raising funds, all that stuff. That's when I started way back, and then I think we shot like 16 or something, and then and, took and 20 years. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like a year to edit, and then. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The, the timeline for movies is so long. 
it is. Because it's not just making it. They have to figure out what to do with it. And, mm -hmm. takes and the, mm -hmm. the house is perfect. Oh yeah, oh, that was so that was was really good. Good. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna add the bit shop locally. Yes. Yeah, and that was creepy. We really house. lucky cool. because uh, I wanted actually a place with a basement, which in Houston you don't have. Yeah. Place, right? oh, wow. So she had this great outside thing where the where the girl goes in and the dancing mm -hmm. Um So it was kind of substitute for the basement thing. But she, you know, it's crazy. She had all these different, like the style of her furniture. Like we didn't have to do anything. We just used her furniture, and we yeah. just used, you know, the the like the basically the sewing form, uh, yeah. those baby things. She the baby pictures were there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 That was so confusing. Those were those, those baby pictures, pictures <laughs> everywhere. That's like what they were from. No, no, they were just perfect. <laughs> there was one room that kind of almost looked a little bit like the tree mine. The windows in the tree mine. Like oh, the the big. Um, there was a big big room oh, with the yeah. double. Oh. It's a gorgeous place. We, yeah. we, I found it through Airbnb. So it's like a historic, okay. one of those historic okay. houses. One of those very yeah. historic houses. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's perfect. Uh, Jason, did you want to say anything? Okay. Oh, um, you said it was uh, 2016. I can't believe yeah. it's been that long. It's been that long. There's, I'm watching it. I feel like I'm kind of watching it again for the first time. It's been so long. Um, it was. Obviously, it brings back a lot of memories of during the shoot. Um, I can't believe that there were that many scenes in, in the movie. And when I think about how long it took us to shoot it, it was like um, amazing. Like the crew, the cast, they all worked so damn hard. Like it was, it was unbelievable. Like the amount of passion that everybody had. Um, and coffee. <laughs> 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 uh, we did it in five days. Was yeah. So it's two weekends, two and a half days each, like the half Fridays and the Saturday Sunday. Yeah. And for, to go to the out to Dallas in the hotel, this, that, like, there were, yeah, I mean, I have people who looked at it were like, there's no way to do this. I told her that. Like, <laughs> even in pre production, I was just like, yeah, <laughs> she's like, we want to do it in this many days. No, that's, that's crazy. Nobody can do that. And somehow we pulled it off. I don't, I don't know how we did it. Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was exhausting. To, and, yeah. and Jason is one of the people that works the hardest because I feel like on set, everyone can take a break. The, like, the actors have a break. The sound guy. The only person that can take a break is the camera guy because he's either setting up a scene or shooting a scene. Oh, yeah. That's it. So honestly, like even I can sit there and be like, I'm waiting for this, the lights to get set up or whatever. Jason, that scene, uh, the dream, I really like it. It was really creative. You have those different images and uh, playing with the light and trying to have the, the personage in different areas. And yeah. It was really guiding and it, it, I like it. It was okay. really creative. Right, thank you. Yeah, some of that was improvised just based on the location. location right. um, there was some happy accidents, like um, in that dream sequence. Uh, there was some, like the the basically what it ha happened was like we showed up in the morning. It was like really humid and floppy that day, and then I was looking through the lens and like, oh my god, like everything's just like blown out, like foggy. Right. And then we're like, okay, let's let's go with it. You know, like it's, that. It's a dream it's a sequence. Look. So exactly. it was, so that was like some of the stuff that was just a happy accident that we, we just went with it. It's and then like, as the more we shot, it kind of dissipated. And then we're like, OK, well, it makes sense. You know, like, let's just use that. And so there were little things like that that we just kind of went with. But for the most part, I mean, like, Fatima and I tried to plan as, as much as possible just to make the day. Every shot was sort of ordered. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Try to be economical if possible. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, thank you so much for coming. I mean, it's a crazy time to be out, but thank you for coming and supporting us. And we'll see you.